What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm a Five Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this the button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Oh, well, this is for Scorpio for mid June of 2022. Okay. This can resonate if you have sports, any aspects of your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femin, Haven, Jupiter charts. Don't forget basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply that it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading for sign of sports. Uh, this is for mid, like I said, mid June of 2022, but I'm doing them early because I've noticed a lot of the channel messages I have been receiving have been future. So I'm trying to do them as early as possible so you guys can view them and hopefully you'll get them before they resonate. Um, so you can know what to expect if the message or messages apply for you. These are psychic intuitive messages. One message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply, only you know your specific story and situation. So you have to plug them in accordingly if they do resonate, okay? Um, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 13,030 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly and word of mouth. I'd very much appreciate it. I did receive a couple downloads as I was meditating on your mid-June of 2022's energy. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to share them. Sorry, he's been so active today. Whoa. Go, 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 go. Okay. So um, the first one I heard was um, someone working with criminals is about to severely backfire on them. Um, so you plug that in, how it resonates, someone working, um, I just heard collaborating, collaborating. So someone collaborating with criminals is about to seriously backfire on them. Um, so some kind of collaboration with criminal energy. The second one I heard, um, a Scorpio is about to fall in love with a federal agent soon, but their feelings are not going to be the same. You're going to pick up on it. There are many series of chain of events. So you plugged in how it resonates, Scorps, um, however that resonates and applies in one's life. Um, some kind of collaboration with criminals is about to backfire. Now, you know, in energies can be reversed, so it could be you that's collaborating with criminals, or you have collaborated with criminals, or it could be somebody else. Um, you, only you know your story, not anybody else, so you have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? That's the first one. The second one, um, I heard a Scorpio. So a Scorpio is about to... It sounds like they're about to fall in love. It sounds like they haven't fell in love yet with the federal agent. But it sounds like there are many series of chain events they're about to. But I heard the feelings aren't going to be mutual, basically. They're not going to be mutual. And um, through many series of chain events, it sounds like you, Scorpio, if that resonates for you, um, you're going to intuitively pick up on it. So I think it's going to be something the agent does or says. Um that is going to give you an intuitive spike that their feelings are not the same. Um, it sounds like you haven't, it sounds like you haven't fell in love with them yet. Um, it sounds like through series of chain of events, you're going to, but also through series of chain of events, you're going to realize the feelings are not mutual there. So I think it's going to be something they say or something they do. Um, that's going to have you pick up on the fact that their feelings are not the same. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. We have door opportunities are waiting for you. Lily, spiritual love, ladder, climbing with success. Wow, that looks great. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates there, Scorps. I feel you can be a masculine or feminine Scorpio for either of those um, situations. A Scorpio that is in higher learning, a higher learning situation right now a low vibrational scorpio a lot of secrets of the past through many series of chain of events they're about to experience huge chaos there huge public embarrassment randomly people are about to start asking you about the past and about a some a specific neighbor 
some a specific lover of the past. It is about to mortify you. Some a family member. Oh, my Lord. Do you plug it in how it resonates? So, um, whoever that's for, you're in some kind of higher learning situation. So, um, I feel it could be a technical school, a two-year community college, or a four-year, um, or an Ivy League, or something of that, that nature. Some kind of higher learning, like college S type energy is what I'm feeling here, or technical school, or something like that. But however that resonates, um, there's some kind of huge secrets of the past um, there, uh, however that resonates. Um, I guess you, I'm assuming you have not been speaking on them publicly, but I heard you're about to get publicly embarrassed because it sounds like many people, it sounds like you're about to get it from all ends. About to get it from all ends, about to mortify you, about to get it from all ends, and it's about to mortify you. So it's about to highly embarrass you. You're about to, it sounds like you're about to get many people from questioning you. Some about a former lover, some about a, um, some about a former lover, some about a family member, some about a neighbor. Um, some kind of huge secrets of the past. I heard it's going to embarrass the hell out of you. So it's not something you want out public, I'll tell you that. But it's about to come out public where you want it to or not. And it sounds like it's about to come out in your school situation. Uh, some it's on a ball team. Some it's on a ball team. So for some it's in some kind of higher education and learning situation. Some it's on a ball team. Some it's regarding your neighbor, some it's regarding a family member, some it's regarding um, a lover. So um, I feel that could be current lover or past lover. You plug it in, how it resonates. Lord have mercy. Some it's regarding a parent. You know. Okay, and some it's regarding a parent you know. So some it's your lover, current or past, I'm feeling. Some it's your neighbor, some it's your um family member some it is um a parent you know some kind of huge secret energy but it's about to come out very public whether you want it to or not you plug it in how it resonates some you're on a ball team and it sounds like people are about to come at you at all in some you're in higher learning spirit messages you have a size for you for some you can be dealing with a fire sign because you have double fire sign energy here in fact i strongly i strongly feel at least one of you guys is dealing with a fire sign for some i strongly feel it's two or two plus because i mean you got double fire sign energy um and you have occupation too um double fire sign energy buffalo and tiger double um fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius if you are, they could have Aries, Leo, or Sag, and there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Royal Family, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. If you are dealing with a fire sign or fire signs. Number 34 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 34 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 34. Tiger. About to tear it up on the basketball court. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. About to tear it up on the basketball court is what I heard. Some lots of water park activity. Okay. So about to tear it up on the basketball court. For some of you guys, it could be you about to tear it up on the basketball court um, or somebody else in some kind of water park activity, whether it's you about to go to a water park or water parks or somebody you're connected to. Um, for some, you could be going with fire sign or not. Um, if you are, um, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Moon, Manhattan, Jupiter, Charts, but heavy basketball playing energy, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. For some, you could be the coach possibly or a parent um and heavy water park energy buffalo
An aggressive boss is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. Very aggressive boss. It's about to throw you off guard. This person was not like this in the past. No, it's not going to change now because of the past. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow, I heard a very aggressive boss. It's about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. Double confirmation, double deuces, very aggressive. So, I mean, very aggressive. So, they're not coming in a gentle touch energy. They're coming aggressive, 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 aggressive. Um, get it done, get it done, get it done, get it done. I mean, like, aggressive, aggressive, like, aggressive. Um, I heard, no, it's not going to change because of the past. So something happened in the past in some shape, form, or fashion. You have to plug this in how it resonates. Um, that is causing this aggression energy in this boss energy. I feel that could be manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. But I heard it's not going to change. Um, the aggression is not going to change there. So something happened in the past between you and this boss that's causing this is what I'm feeling here. I some I strongly feel the fire sign boss. Aries Leo Sagittarius boss. If they are, they could have Aries Leo Sag and they're summarizing Venus or feminine behavior. Jupiter charts, masculine or feminine, Aries Leo Sag boss. But I heard it's not going to change. Know that. So I think for some, you were hoping it would change the aggression energy of this boss. But I heard it's not going to. So you plug it in how it resonates. Buffalo. A family reunion in a Scorpio's life. Is about to become very significant and awkward for one. An unexpected person is going to show up at this family reunion and it's going to cause a lot of drama. Know this a lot. You plug it in how it resonates. Unexpected family reunion energy. I mean, not unexpected family reunion, family reunion energy, if that resonates. Family reunion energy, which we all know those can be. Very interesting. And that's just the damn truth. That's why I don't go to family reunions. And that's why I'm estranged from my family. And that's just the damn truth. Um, I, 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 I'm good without the damn drama. And that's just the truth. But however that resonates, one of you guys sounds like you're about to attend a family reunion soon. It sounds like free willingly. But um, for some, it could be peer pressure. Hell, I don't know. Only you know your situation, not anybody else. But I heard it's going to be very awkward. It's going to be very awkward. Um, for some, you could be looking forward to this family reunion. But just at least for one, it's going to be awkward. I'll tell you that. For some, it might not be. But for one, it's going to be very awkward. Heard an unexpected visitor is going to show up at this family reunion. Um, and I heard it, it sounds like it's going to, that's what's going to turn it awkward. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, for some, it could be a fire sign that's about to show up to this. Uh, sounds like, you know how you hear the term wedding crashers? Well, this is like family reunion crasher energy. And for some, I feel it could be a fire sign. Fire, uh, family reunion crasher. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, yeah. And they could be coming in aggressive, possibly. Um, you With tiger energy. You plug it in, how it resonates. And buffaloes... Um, this is, I'm feeling like stubborn energy, stubborn, stubborn energy here with the aggression of the tiger. For one, it's a baby mama. For one, it's a baby daddy. For one, it is a pregnant person, pregnant with an ancestral child for some, twins for another, triplets for another. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh. Okay, I lost it. I lost the channeling. Whoa. I, oh, I shouldn't have reacted. Oh my God. I'll see if, oh, let me see if I can. Oh my God. For some, it's a drunk and disorderly person. Drunk off their ass. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. That's a lot. So for some, it's a drunken, disorderly person off their ass. It sounds like this is the unexpected visitor or visitors. And that's what's going to make it very awkward um, for you or somebody you're connected to. 
Um, for some, it's a baby mama. It could be your baby mama or somebody else's baby mama. For some, it's a baby daddy. It could be your baby daddy or somebody else's baby daddy. For some, it is a pregnant person. <sighs> um, some of these pregnant people, they're they have they're pregnant with ancestral child or children for some it's one child they're pregnant with for some it's twins ancestral twins it sounds like for some it's ancestral triplets what 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 holy crap um i i i don't you plug it in how it resonates i'm just saying so um the tiger would be the drunken disorderly person the aggression and the um, I think they're, a, uh, I don't think they're an, a sweet drunk. I think they're a mean drunk is what I'm saying. They're going to come in, um, drunk and disorderly. I mean, hell, they're not going to be all nice and, oh, you know, they're going to be mean, drunk and disorderly. Um, so with the tiger energy, oh my Lord, for some, they could be stubborn, possibly. Uh, you plug it in, how it resonates, heavy family reunion energy. Good Lord door opportunities are waiting for you for one police will be called to this family reunion for one police will be called to this family reunion so for one of you guys police will be called to the family reunion know this now for some you could be the one calling the police possibly for some it could be somebody else um, it might be on this drunk and disorderly person. It might be on somebody starting beef and drama with baby mama, baby daddy, or the pregnant person with the ancestral one embryo or twins or triplets. You plug it in how it resonates, man. This, woo, opportunities are waiting for you. A very high vibrational Scorpio is about to get lots of opportunities. For one, collaboration energy. For one with one person. For one with two and two plus people. Very high, high vibrational Scorpio here. For one, other business opportunities. For one, employment. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, and that could be the climbing towards success too, whoever you are and how that apply, applies. For some, it's a new employment opportunity. You're a very high vibrational Scorpio, if that resonates. So you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrity, values, and ethics, if that resonates for you. Low vibrational, you don't do those things. Um, so that's the difference for anybody who doesn't know. I have a lot of newbies on my channel recently, so I like to clarify. Um, but you're very high vibrational if this message or messages apply for you. Uh, for some, it's a new work opportunity. So in the workspace and 3D work world, for some, it is business collaborations, uh, whether you initiate these business collaborations or somebody else does. For some, with one person you're going to collaborate with. For some, with two. Some, with two plus. Whether you initiate the business collaborations or somebody else does, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's really beautiful. So I'm feeling um, like LLC business, CEO business owner energy or sole proprietorship business owner energy or um or um work well and i heard workspace so works work out in the 3d open workspace energy that's really 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 beautiful for whoever that is for okay i didn't hear anything else for some you could be readers, I'm feeling, because we have the spiritual love card. For some, you'd be readers, possibly, with the um, collaboration energy. Um, for some, I feel you could be readers. Um, whether you initiate the collaboration with one person, two people, or two plus people, or somebody initiates the collaboration with you. But I put the spiritual love card and the opportunities are waiting for you and that very uh, that message or messages. I feel you are readers for some. I didn't hear you were, but you might be. And for some, I feel you might collaborate with fire sign because we have double fire sign energy in here, possibly. But only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. That's really beautiful, man. Um, Lily, spiritual love. A particular Scorpio is about to start receiving a lot of downloads. A lot of downloads. 
it's going to shock you, but it's time. Spiritual realm is about to bless you in a huge way. Wow, so you play in how it resonates. So whoever you are, Scorpio, I feel you're obviously high vibrational if that resonates for you. And you're obviously spiritual. Now, I just want to say you can be spiritual and religious, or you can be spiritual and not religious. Now, however you resonate in that spectrum. So you can be religious and spiritual, or you can just be spiritual and not religious. Okay? Both ways you could be. I'm just saying, okay? This is not about religion. This is about spirituality and vibrations here. And whoever you are, you have, or the, it's time. The spiritual realm is about to bless you. So you've done the healing, growth, and shadow work, or you're doing it now. How that resonates. And um, it's time. The spiritual realm feels it's time to bless you with these gifts. Now, I feel it could be clairaudience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, um, psychic medium, S-type abilities, which are clairvoyance, clair, um, audience clear sentience and then the smell one which i cannot remember what the spell smell one is called whoever you are i don't you either got very minimal downloads in the past or you received no downloads in the past and but it sounds like you're about to get inundated with them inundated means download after download after download after download after download for some it might overwhelm you um because it sounds like they're about to come in hard and fast um uh, just breathe if that resonates for you. Just breathe if you're not used to it, okay? Because I trust me, I know. I know how it can be. I've gotten them for years. Just breathe. Relax, meditate, and breathe. I download mine immediately unless I'm out. Um, and it just makes it better on me and for you guys. But some people write them down. So it's however you choose to handle it. But I heard basically it's time. So. I feel you have been doing the work. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. Because the spiritual realm wouldn't bless you with them if you wasn't. And that's just the truth. So this is spiritual realm energy here. Um, download energy about to come. Now, however you get them. Clear audience, clairvoyance, clear sentience, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Excuse me. Definite heavy psychic energy here. But this is about to be, you're about to be blessed with it. A particular Scorpio is about to get contact from a fake spiritualist. You really need to use your best discernment here. For some, it's a younger masculine energy, 35 and below. For some, it's an older feminine energy, 40 and above. Not smart to collaborate or communicate with this person. Heavy, dark, dark. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Hold on, y'all. I got to plug in my battery. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? So fake dark arts spiritualist energy so they come basically for anybody who doesn't know faith dark um, faith spiritual spiritualist energy is basically somebody that claims they're on the light side peace love and light blessings and they want um good intentions out to the universe um helping the collective and things of that nature but behind the scenes they practice dark arts and really they um do it in sneaky shysty manipulative ways they manifest in and very sneaky deceptive ways. For some, they could be part of covens or cults or gangs or something of that nature. Um, you know, us light side individuals, we usually are very independent, very, because our energy, people love our energy. They love our energy. We don't need to collaborate with others. We usually just do it independently um, because there's no, you don't, I mean, you can collaborate with others if you choose to do so. But what I'm saying is those people work in groups for strategic reasons. Like, it's like they're codependent on each other with the coats of cults and the gangs and the covens. Us light side, we do collaborate with other people, absolutely. But it's our free will choice to do so, is what I'm saying. And usually it's 
obviously with other white side beings. These people, it's like they're codependent on each other because their energy, they have to feed and suck off the light side energy, if that makes sense. Um, but whoever you are, your light side, you are light side. Uh, I feel you're high vibrational and I feel you're spiritual. No, you could be religious and spiritual, or just spiritual. For some, you could be a reader, possibly. Um, and I'm just being for real. I strongly feel for at least one, you are a reader. For some, you may not be. Um, but however that resonates, for some, you're about to be contacted. I heard by a um, 35 or below um, masculine energy. For some, for some, a 40 and above feminine energy. They're both on the dark side, basically. But they're going to come off with a false mask like they're not because they want you to collaborate with them. They want you to communicate with them. They want you to feed into whatever BS they're trying to offer you, basically. I heard it would not be smart. You need to use your best discernment. And I got that with the spiritual love card. So I really think you are high vibrational. And I really think for some, you're a reader. Because there's a reason these fake light side spiritualists, whether it for some, it could be the 35 or below masculine energy is about to contact you and the 40 and above femme. For some, I feel both of these people might contact you. For some, it could just be one. But there's a reason they're about to contact you. I think for some, they want to work with you. The opportunities are waiting for you. For some, it could be a fire sign um, or they're going to take on the fire sign energy, um, possibly. But you really need to use your best discernment here. I heard you need to use your best discernment. For some, it's a 40 and above feminine energy. For some, it's a 35 and below masculine energy. You plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. Ladder, climbing towards success. A huge fight on a ball team is actually going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. Coaches are about to quit. Huge shifts are coming. For some, you are a coach about to quit. Tower moment energy, a blessing in disguise. Okay, tower moment energy, a blessing in disguise. So you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. So some kind of tower moment energy, but it sounds like a so it seems like it's going to seem like a negative tower moment here, but it's actually going to be a blessing in disguise for you. Um, confirmation for my fat boy, by the way. So for some, you are the coach that's about to quit. For some, another coach is going to quit. For some, there's about to be huge energy shifts on this team, I think, with management, personnel, coaches, and players. Um, I don't think you're going to see this as a positive tower moment. Um, I think you're going to see it as a negative one. But it's actually going to be a blessing in disguise. I think it's going to climb you towards success, whether you choose to leave this team, um, whether you choose, uh, whether another coach choose to leave this team, or whether you you choose not to play for this team, or what have you, or what have you. I mean, there's there's a lot going on there. Players about to leave, shifts in players, um, coaches about to quit, coaches. Um, getting wake up calls. I mean, but it it is going to be successful. Whether you think, I think whoever this is for, you don't think it's going to be successful. But it's like hindsight 2020. And this hasn't happened yet. Whoever this is for, it hasn't happened yet. But I think when you look back on it, you're going to realize it's going to be better. Confirmation again. Some kind of ball team energy. Now, you know, it could be any kind of ball team. There's a million different ball teams out there. So you plug it in, how it resonates. For one, this involves a swinging situation. It's about to come very public. For one, it's a professional ball team. For one, it's a child's ball team. Okay, for one, it's a swinging situation. It's about to come very public. So some, somebody's been swinging on the ball team, whether it's coaches swinging, coach or play, uh, players' parents swinging, or players. Somebody's been swinging, and for anybody who doesn't know, swinging is basically sleeping with everybody in the mall. Um, but it's about to come very public, very to the light. I mean, it's about to come out. Um, whether you are the one swinging or you're about to expose the, somebody swinging or what have you or what have you, somebody swinging. Um, now, whether you, you only, you know, if you wanted to come out or not, maybe for some, you're going to help expose it. But 
it's coming out whether you want it to come out or not, basically. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But it's going to create a huge energy shifts here. Um, I don't think for one of you, you're going to see it as a positive, but it will be a positive. For some, it could be fire sign swingers or a fire sign about to expose it. You plug it in how it resonates. Justice. A very significant court situation is about to come very, 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 very public in a particular city. It is about to shock the hell out of you. For one, it will be on the news. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I heard a particular court situation is about to come very, very, very public um, in a city. So it's a cityized, urbanized area. It's not a ruralized area. It's not like a countryside. It's a cityized area, populated, heavily populated area um, with heavy population. Um, I heard it's about to come very, very, very public. Um, and in one, it's at least two court situations in a city. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But one of them, I heard it's going to be um, televised. It's going, I mean, not televised. It's going to go um, on TV. It's going to be like broadcast on the TV. I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. So um, now I don't know if that's actually cameras in the courtroom or if that's just newscasters um, reporting on the court situation, how that resonates, or the ruling of the court situation, how that resonates. But um, I heard it's going to shock you. It's going to shock you. So I don't think if this message applies for you, I don't think you're going to think it's going to come as public as it's going to, but it is going to. And it's at least two of them um, in the in a city. So you plug it in how it resonates. So justice in this aspect is somebody about to get justice or justice about to be served for somebody. I feel this can either go positively or negatively. Either somebody's going to get the gavel thrown at their ass or somebody is about to win in a court situation. Uh, but definite heavy legal energy here, justice system energy here with the justice card. It's not you, um, whoever this, those, those are for, it's somebody else. For one Scorpio, a Scorpio is involved. For one Scorpio, a Scorpio is involved. Criminal cases, criminal cases. So for, okay, so criminal cases. So just justice legal system energy here, criminal cases, at least two criminal cases in a city. One's going to be very public, I think newsworthy, um, like news energy. Um, and they're both criminal cases and one is involving a Scorpio, one is not. You plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. Uh, for one, you could be the one involved in this criminal um, case. For one, maybe you are a Scorpio that knows a Scorpio involved in this criminal case. You plug it in, how it resonates. Whoa. Occupation. Lots of public recognition coming for a very high vibrational Scorpio soon. And one Scorpio is about to get fired. It's about to shock them, but they shouldn't shock them. There is evidence here. Strong, heavy evidence. For one, it's criminal evidence. Video camera evidence. Whoa! You plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, Lord. So for one of you guys, <clears throat> you plug it in, how it resonates. So... One of you guys, you're a high vibrational Scorpio. Your, your career is about to take off, basically. Climbing towards success, you're about to take off. For some, I feel you could be a reader. And I'm just being for real. Because we have a spiritual love card. Opportunities are waiting for you. Climbing towards success. For one, I think you're a reader. And it's about to take off you in a very positive way. For some, you might already have had experienced success as a reader. And it's about to continue. You plug it in how it resonates. Only you know you're destroying anybody else. But for one, you work in the 3D workspace. I'll tell you that right now. You work in a 3D workspace and you're about to surprise get fired. Um, I heard it's going to shock you. You're a low vibrational Scorpio if that resonates for you. But I heard it should not shock you because 
apparently there's a lot of evidence supporting this and I don't feel it's false documentation and people like working behind the scenes to like strategically plan for you with false documentation to get you fired. It's, I, I heard video camera criminal evidence. So, I mean, it's something caught on video camera, whatever the hell it is, and it's something criminal and you are implicated in it, in this video camera evidence. I heard it, you're going to be shocked, but it shouldn't shock you. Um, you are low vibrational, you're caught on camera doing something very criminal, and it is in a workspace in your company, whoever you are and how this applies. So for one, you're about to achieve success or continue your success in whatever you are. For some, you're just starting out in the workforce, I'm feeling. For some, I feel you might be readers. For some, it could just be continued success. Um, but for one, you're about to get fired, whether you think you are or not. But you, there's some kind of video camera evidence supporting criminal activity or activities that you are a part of in some shape, form, or fashion. And I am just being for real. So we have occupation reverse. For one, Scorpio, you're about to find out about a Libra's viral porn videos. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you. For one, Scorpio, you're about to find out about a Libra's viral porn videos. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you. You plug it in how it resonates. Some Libra out in the universe, it can be a masculine or pin Libra. I'm just saying. Um, in this aspect, this is, I guess they want to be a porn star, or they are a porn star, or they're a prospective porn star. How that resonates, but... Some kind of viral porn videos of a Libra. I heard it's about to embarrass the hell out of you. So for some, I feel you could be a family member of theirs or um, an acquaintance or um, maybe you go to school with them or on a ball team with them or you're in school with them or you work with them or something. But um, Or you're a lover or a former lover of theirs. But however that resonates, it's about to embarrass the hell out of you. Uh, they're about to go viral. So they're either a porn star, they want to be a porn star or something like that. Um, in this aspect, it's your leaper porn star or prospective porn star energy. But for some reason, it's about to embarrass the hell out of you. I'll tell you that. You plug it in, how it resonates. They could have leaves in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, that's a, obviously very low vibrational energy. If that resonates for you. Uh-uh, buddy. Let me see if I hear anything else real quick. An informant is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life soon. For some, you're going to know this person is an informant. For some, you're not. Earth sign energy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Informant energy. So, um, Earth sign energy. Informant. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midhaven, and Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Scorps. For some, you're going to know they're an informant. For some, you're not. Um, but they're about to become very significant in your life, regardless of whether you know they're an informant or not. I feel they're an informant to the feds, federal agents, um, or an informant to a cult or a gang or COVID or something like that, but definite informant energy to somebody, whether it's federal, I didn't hear who they're informant to. I feel it could be federal agents, cult, gang, COVID, et cetera, et cetera, but some kind of group they are an informant to. For some, you know, they are an informant. For some, you don't. Um. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Midhaven, and Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Scorps. A, a severe illness of a cancer is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. And a Scorpio is about to find out an air sign has HIV. Oh, my Lord. Okay, I heard a, um, Ooh, this is. I'm about to get out of this. Okay, so uh, significant illness of a cancer is about to become very significant in your life. So whoever this cancer is, I feel they can be masculine or feminine cancer. They can have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, hey, you your charts. But it sounds like you're about to find out about this illness, um, this cancer, having this illness. Whoever this cancer is and how they apply in your life. Um, 
for some, I feel you could be close to them or you used to be close to them. Um, and for some, you're about to find out an air sign has HIV. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they could um, be a masculine or feminine. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I'm feeling. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, Hebrew, Jupiter charts. Um, it sounds like it's upcoming in the universe as well. Uh, so it hasn't happened yet. You're about to find out this air sign has HIV. For some, I feel you might have been sexually connected to them in the past, or you used to be close to them or something of that nature. Um, I guess they're about to reveal it to you they have HIV, or um, or somehow you're about to learn they have HIV. However that resonates, maybe for some you work in the medical profession. Uh, you're a medical professional possibly for some, and that's how you find out. I mean, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. We do have the occupation card, so. For some, I feel you could be medical professionals. For some, I feel you're readers. For some, you could be any other kind of profession. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I didn't. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.